My name is Gavin Ritchie. I've lived in Sydney for 25 years. I am Aboriginal Puerto Rican on my father's side. I'm from the Dungadi clan, which is from northern New South Wales, but I grew up in Gilgandra, which is Wiradjuri land. I live off the government. <laughs> I was on New South and for the past oh, three years, I've been on the disability support pension. When you get paid fortnightly, you have to be able to budget that money out and money and me are not exactly best friends. We don't have great relations. I always run out of money before my next pay. When I was on New Start, I'd pay my rent. I had $320 to last me for a fortnight. That's ridiculous. I don't know why they call it New Start, they should call it Old Stop because <laughs> it doesn't work. When I was a kid, I wanted to move to Sydney. I used to run home from school crying because there were some boys in year five and year six who were calling me a nigger, a bong and a coon. And I'd run home crying to my mother, and not knowing why. I always knew who my father was. I knew he was black. But I didn't know that that meant that I was black. And because I come from a town of three and a half thousand people, it didn't really allow for any variation on the norm and I'm not even sure what the norm was, but I knew that I was different. Like Indigenous people are anywhere, their rights, their safety, their happiness, I believe, should be of paramount significance to everybody. Billions of dollars have been made in this country in 200 odd years. My people are still chained firmly to the lowest rung in the socioeconomic ladder. I said, it's not right. Sydney represented to me a place where I could walk the streets 24 hours a day, seven days a week and not run into anybody I know and where nobody really cared about me and what I was doing. I guess for the first 10 years, I found it really difficult. And then for the next 10 years, I wouldn't say I accepted my lot, but I got used to it. I got used to not being stable. I'm not sure if it's a product of my low socioeconomic standing. I train myself to subsist on next to nothing. I can eat three meals a day in Sydney without paying. You've just got to get up and go to it. Nothing will come to you. It was quite confronting. They did the scan, gave me the results, said that's the type of pneumonia prevalent in people with compromised immune systems such as old people, babies and people with HIV and I said and on that note he said on that note we got your blood results back and you've tested positive to antibodies for the human immunodeficiency virus. It took five applications over five years till finally they approved my disability pension. It's hardly a badge of honour. I'm not going to walk around, I'm not going to write on my resume, I'm on the disability pension. It's not something that I'm proud of but it's something that I need. I think I'll be happy in the future. I'm already happier now. As far as my health goes, I firmly believe I'll have a cure. All I want is to be able to live my life and to just simply be. I wish we could get rid of money, that'd be nice. <laughs>